Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Classic Who. So this is actually my last reaction, I believe, in season one. It is the final two parts of The Reign of Terror. There are, one is gonna be animated. Um, so I'm still kind of seeing how I like the animated episodes um, as I watch this one. And fun fact, Today is my birthday. It is not my birthday when I am recording this, but it will be my birthday when I upload this. <laughs> and I have literally nothing planned. Nothing planned. I just absolutely nothing. I'm gonna hang out with my dog and probably make tacos because I love tacos, but that's the extent. Um, I have uh, given myself I think the day off from like recording and editing but other than that I've got there's no celebrations or anything it's just I'm just gonna be chilling but um, I just I just wanted to let you guys know I'm another year older today as of when you're watching this so yeah let's get started fight him Ian put all ideas of escape out of your head afterwards we'll take care of him Mr. fuck off we have plenty of time. Stop snapping! No, by now, young lady, that you can't get rid of the old doctor and Jesus back. <laughs> They're so adorable together, I can't take it. She to remain in her cell, you understand, under no circumstances is the door to be open. And if that order is disobeyed, I'll have you guillotined. He keeps threatening that, you know. Only would he get through her to her friends. If she were to escape, she could be followed. She'd make these traitors and we'd arrest them. What an excellent idea. Yes, of course they're right. Didn't I think of that? Yes, that's what we'll do. This bitch thinks that he can break Ian. That's fucking hilarious. Well, we learned of the existence of James Sterling two months ago. I've been searching for him ever since. Now, if you were to talk, I have the power to set you free. Jewel must have told you all I know. Ah, yes, what did Jewel say? How did you get to France? You really want to know the truth. I flew here with three friends in a small box. All right, lay off! Oh! 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 It's a rescue! Oh! No! No. Kill him. Kill him. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the animated fight scenes are a little bit better, I gotta say. Oh my god. No, shoot him in the head. Did that motherfucker die? Or did he just get shot? I do not have clarity on that. What do you want? It's me, Susan, Susan! Didn't you collect the soldiers and follow the release prisoner? Me? Certainly not. But I was under the impression, my dear man, that you were doing so. Ah! I'm hardly dressed in the I let to go skulking after people. Now, I think if we let her go, I personally could follow and then arrest all of them. If that door is open, I lose my it's head. So shady! That's what the magic said just before he left, that's what he said. We lose his head until then, that door remains closed. Come on, Doctor, just knock him out. Against which member is the indictment being brought, citizen? Against me, Lamette. Against me, Robespierre. It's dramatic. Barbara. <gasps> Barbara. You thought you'd be arrested. We were. But when we got to the prison, the doctor was there. What? Yeah, he's dressed up as if he's running the revolution. Sounds like the doctor, all right. <laughs> he's dead, Barbara. I killed him. Mm. It's the only way, Barbara. He deserved to die. He was a traitor. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? He was a traitor. I suppose you well, think he... That's it... because an extremist like Rose. Oh, Barbara, Susan, our friend, he said... I know all that. 
people gave their lives for that cane. Well, he got what he deserved. You check your history books again before you decide what people deserve. I don't, Barbara. Don't give Saz to Ian. He could have died. Okay. The sound quality in these are not the best. So, like, I'm going to need you to speak up. Because I, I have no idea what the fuck they just said. I assume, oh my, somebody's coming. I don't know. Oh my god! I must insist that you re release that young child immediately. I'm afraid you're not in a position to insist on anything at the moment. Bitch, I, I can't. He, this guy is so annoying. <laughs> and left your granddaughter. Just an assumption, but obviously correct. I knew I had you so long as she remained here under lock and key. <sighs> you remember the girl and uh, what was his name? Ian. Ian. I love how they say Ian. <laughs> If you want your granddaughter released, you do not have a choice. Barbara. Sorry about Leon. But it really was the only way, believe me. I'm so sick and tired of death yet. I never seem able to get away from it. I left the door unlatched. Oh, so now anyone can walk in. Why <laughs> be patient, Leon? When I spoke to you before, the things I said... You said because of Leon the man. Oh my god. Don't don't shoot the doctor! Oh thank god it's not animated anymore. No offense to the animators, they did a great job. Your friend has betrayed us. I saw to it that you got the key. And I took care of the jailer. Why? Why should you do that? I was certain in my own mind that Webster gave you a message to deliver. I had to collect. Collect? Yes. I am James Sterling. What? So Plot surprising. twist! And I kept my part of the bargain. I know, but let me explain my position. I certainly will not. I want my <coughs> granddaughter out of that prison. She already has been out of that prison. The jailer would die rather than see that cell door opened again. Webster did speak of that. What did he say? Well, nothing specific, but he said Barras meeting and something about a sinking ship. If I can discover the results of this meeting, I'm ready to return to England and I'm free to help you. It's for Barbara and Ian to attend the meeting. Nonsense, it's far too risky. Why not use your own men? You would still learn the details? True, but then they would also know. Well, at least Barbara and Ian would be no together. Advice. I think we should be. All I want for my birthday is an Ian and Barbara kiss. And I don't think that's too much to ask for. So. They're just like putting her to work? What? <laughs> Well, okay. Did you see who it was? No. Did you? No. It's Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte. We're quite safe here. I made certain I wasn't followed. He'll be tried and executed before his friends have time to reorganize. You're a hero in the people's eyes. And in your eyes. A useful prop to your new government. You would be more than just a figurehead. I'd say. You would be one of them. They're Norman Batesing them. I can't. Napoleon as ruler of France? Yes, as one of three consuls. He won't be content with that. If you can get Susan, take her and join Barbara and wait for the carriage. Ian and myself will join you as soon as we can. Where shall we go? To the palace. Take care, Ian. She meant, I love you, Ian. <laughs> Robespierre will be guillotined, whatever we do. I've told you about positions so yes, often. Yes, I know. You can't influence or change history. I'm afraid so, and we can't stem the tide. But at least we can stop being carried away with the blood. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Oh, 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 Wow. Oh, wow. Just start whacking them with your cane. You! Why do you think a high ranking official like myself came to Paris? Hmm? I was part of the problem. I, I, I came to the with his cane. A group spears done for. I lived. I didn't know shit. You thought you'll get away with it. Get away with what? Being the mate's accomplice. Take him! Wow. I can't decide whether you're a bow or a half wit or both. Get out. Now, my I'll goodness. Do, uh, uh, shall I release the prisoner, citizen? Certainly. Now, let me have the key to the dungeon. Well, that worked. <laughs> well, at least she didn't, like, die in that cell. I was a bit worried about her fever. Citizen Royce, dear. This is indeed a little man. your breath, Ali, huh? You can't answer your back. Everybody lived in fear yesterday of that man, and today... Let's go, Susan. Let's go. Yes, the fall of ah. this has changed everything for you. Barbara, who are you really? Where do you all come from? Here they are. He's got Susan. I hope they have a pleasant journey. So do I. But to where, Jules? I get the impression they don't know where they're heading for. Mm. They don't. To that. Aww. Do we get to see the little kid again? That little kid was the best. Oh man, it has been forever, TARDIS. <laughs> As we see, so we learn. What are we going to see and learn next, Doctor? Well, unlike you, that age, my boy, our destiny is in the stars. So let's go and search for it. That was such a sweet little ending to the episode. Oh my god. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, okay. There is um, a few things that I want to talk about. I really like the historical ones. Um, sometimes in New Who, they're not my favorites, but I, I, I've enjoyed the, uh, the Aztecs and, and, and this one a bit, so... But to be fair, I've liked the majority of the stories in the first season. There really hasn't been any that I was like, oof, that really wasn't my cup of tea. Um, I thought that they were all fairly good. And I, you know, I've said this before, I think it a lot has to do with the fact that I just really love um, the team, even the group uh, with the doctor and, and Susan and Barbara and Ian. I, I think their chemistry together is really great. So, I, you know, maybe that has a lot to do with, you know, I feel like you like a lot of stories more when you really like the characters that are involved. Um, but I, I, I really enjoyed that. I was hoping for something, you know, it's my birthday when I upload this, and I just wanted a Barbara and Ian. How many minutes do you think, if you combined all of the instances and the times that I have talked about wanting Barbara and Ian to get together, how much time do you think that would accumulate? <laughs> we'll see by the end of the first Doctor's run. <laughs> Somebody will tally it up. Um, I, I, I did, I did really like the historical bit. Um, and I like that it doesn't always have to have an alien element. Um, and I liked that they bring up, I, I was kind of curious how standalone the episodes would, would be. I like that they, they, they've done it before, but like, I like that they, you know, Barbara brought up the Aztecs and what she learned from that. So they kind of acknowledge the other stories and it's not like they pretend that they don't happen or anything like that. Um, Cause some shows when they do sort of very contained stories and it's a different story every time or whatever, um, I, uh, they sometimes like don't even recognize the other stories that have happened. I like that, that um, this does. 
Um, it seemed to be a fairly light Susan episodes. Um, the I think I think both of the animated ones. So you know she was in. No, not that. I guess maybe just episode five was kind of light on Susan. Um, but I I really enjoyed um, that story. I, th I thought I thought it was a great story. I think the doctor shined a lot in it. Um, his smarts and cunning and problem solving, I think, were kind of the, the highlights of this story. Um, you know, he kind of has that in, in a lot of the stories. But sometimes he's just, he's a bit um, <laughs> difficult to work with and stuff like that. But this was really him kind of using uh, just you know, his smarts to, to, to save, um, all of his friends in a very, very difficult situation. Um, I liked, I, I liked when they talked about, um, Leon, I believe that was his name, the guy that I wanted to die and then he did die. And so I was happy about it. Barbara was less happy about it, but I was happy about it. Um, but I like what she said about the fact of like, you know, um, whether it's, you know, when you think about there being like two sides of such a, when the, when the, I mean, what I'm trying to say is when the line is kind of drawn in the sand and you have to kind of take sides on whether or not, you know, there's going to be probably good people on both sides, but it's kind of the, the nature of, battles and wars and conflicts and stuff like that and um I liked that she they they took a moment to kind of address that I really liked that a lot um yeah it, it, this was great and I'm really excited to get into season two um and see what you know what they have in store and um hopefully Barbara and Ian stay for a while for a long time like the entirety of the doctor's run, first doctor's run. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't, I don't want to say goodbye to them. I love them too much. All right. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.